Undertale by Toby Fox. Now a reference to Under Novella, Era wanting to kill them, but the story is too good, as also seen in Underverse. Someone mentions Underfresh. Error is unaware of Underfresh, but then Underfresh Sands appears, saying, in this world, it's skates or be skates. But Error saves the multiverse. We get some more art for Error abusing Undertale Frisk. Very nice. Error Sands is asked about Outer Tail, so he goes into the world and he gets distracted by the bright, glowing space sky. Someone mentions the possibility of other errors. Error says that he is unaware of any other errors like himself. But then we get images of Papyrus bubbling up a red human soul, with an error coming from his eye. We learn that Error has glasses to combat his bad vision. He does look less intimidating but he really should start using them. Error and Fresh meet again. Error goes ahead and pulls out his strings to ready an attack. But the parasite that is infecting Fresh escapes this situation, freaking Error Sands out and leaving a traumatized Sands behind. It is shown that Error is the only one that can hear these voices, aka the asks by the viewers. Blueberry answers a question about hanging out with Error, the suffocating quiet of the Anti-Void, and wanting the viewers to tell Papyrus he is okay, and Error calling his answer lame. Error suddenly slaps his glasses onto Blueberry. Error still pulls the look off better. A viewer asks Blueberry about what he thinks of Error about what he did. Blueberry explaining how upset he is, but that he will never hate. That hate is a virus, and that hating him will only make things worse. Another viewer asks if Blueberry thinks that Error could become a good person if they try. Blueberry explains that he believes that every soul is capable of evils and good deeds, and that being good after being hateful would be quite a hard thing to do or not even knowing how to change their ways. After hearing this, Error goes into his glitch state and then releases Blueberry, since he isn't a threat. A viewer asks if Underswap Sands likes chocolate. Blueberry answers that he does, so Error takes out two chocolate bars that he stole from Underfell. I am going to guess that he stole the chocolate just like he did in Underverse, Error says that the chocolate is an apology for slapping him with glasses. Error then proceeds to open his mouth and... A blue multi-ended tongue grabs the chocolate bar and eats it whole. A new question answered by Blueberry tells us that this anti-void has no shadows, no noise, and seems to be a perfect white. One of the voices causes Error to regurgitate a chocolate wrapper and tossing it back into Underfell, landing on Felsanz's head as he yells about his missing stuff and his fucking chocolate. Voices questions leads Error into teaching Blueberry about the multiverse. <coughs> Your, Your entire existence has been lived out in a singular un universe playfully na named Underswap. But, but beyond that horizon lies a near infinite amount of alternate e existences. These AUs, or alternate universes, are so many in number, it is pretty much impossible to count them all. Every decision we make sprouts a new universe. Likewise, Every conceivable version of us exists somewhere. <laughs> Makes you feel pretty small, huh? I, I really do, do hate them. Underswap Sands.
now knowing the true insignificance of themselves, with the existence of a multiverse infinitely growing and incomprehensible, begins to stutter and shudder. Brought to his knees, Error being unable to know what to do or feel in this situation, he just goes with telling Blueberry to stop. This doesn't work, resulting in Error crashing and needing to reboot himself. And this is actually the thing that helps Sans stop his mental breakdown. And Error not wanting to share that that stress seemingly defeated him. We jump back to Underswap and we get to see Core Frisk wishing to help this Papyrus. A new question ends up with Error trying to learn how to knit from Blueberry. A viewer asks if Blueberry has seen Under Novella, and Error goes into full fanboy mode, saying that Under Novella is one of the most interesting universes he likes to visit. So interesting, he can't kill them. Error states that as Goro, the lead kingpin of an illegal drug trade operation, that he never wished to be a part of and was passed down to him is Error's favorite character. Toriel disapproving of Asgoro's work, even if it wasn't his choice to make, was having a secret love affair with Sin, this universe's Sans. Plus Sin is the best assassin in that side of the underground. Error states that he can't speak Spanish but he pieced things together, which makes me think he is making his own plot to the story and the real story is something completely different since this guy's legit insane. More questions appear that Error refuses to answer, saying that the memories of his past has always had a lot of holes. Blueberry tries and fails to get any info from Error. Many more questions appear back to back, making Error break his story silence. Error opens up a window to his earliest memory. Nothing else can be remembered before this event. In this memory, we see the ruins doors and a glitched rift opening with Error running through it, falling to the ground in a heavily glitched state. Error being out of breath, and seeing him wearing his glasses. The glitching subsides as he rests for a moment, then bursting out in laughter. He is finally free from the anti-void, but this sudden change from nothing to a colorful world brings him to panic. Uh, actually, I... Too much to look at, Get, isn't this it? This is too much. Go back. This is insane. We'll kill you. This place is already too colorful. Go back. Go back. But Error forces himself to sit at the ruins' doors for a while to think and adjust to his new environment. 